In this short video demonstration, we're going to teach you how to use variable data printing inside Adobe InDesign. This is a great application for cut sheet devices, whether that's for magazines, it could be personalization on greeting cards. The list really is endless of how you can apply variable data. Now, this design has already been created using the ColorLogic system, so we have our ColorLogic separation in here. If you want to find out how we created this magazine cover, head over to the Smart Center, and inside Smart Center, go to the Tips and Tricks section, and you will find this video tutorial as a step-by-step -step guide that teaches you how to create the background gradients with the dimensional effect. This watch is actually an um, Illustrator vector file, and so we've separated all that into metallic, the image on the back is a, uh, an image from Photoshop. So we've run it through the image effects plugin and shown you how to do some color compensation techniques. And obviously we've got gold embellishments in there as well. So this uh, magazine is Watch How We Do It. And this is all about variable data printing in InDesign. And the great thing is you don't need any third party applications for this. You can do all of this just using the tools that Adobe provides you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our Excel sheet. So you can do this in Excel or we're using Google Sheets. Create um, a column, one for the name, one for the surname. Really, really simple. So each variable would have a column. Then all you need to do is share that file down to your computer. So I'm just going to download that as a comma separated value. That will go to your computer. And then all we need to do is go into InDesign going to go to the window menu, I'm going to go to utilities, I'm going to go to data merge. So data merge basically will allow us to basically pull in that file. Now I've already linked my CSV file, but I'm just going to actually remove that just so you can see how it's done. Okay, so all you do is go to the fly up menu, select data source, find your CSV file, and it will bring in those two columns that we saw. Now all we have to do is select our text, click on name, and then on the back, We'll do name here and the surname will go in there and that is it that's all you need to do to be able to add in the variable data now just let's move it over to this side so down here we've got a preview button so now if we click on preview you can see how each of those variable names is changing we can cycle through this so surname four names all changing through now the great thing about this is that because this is color logic how would you do this without using the color logic system so what we're going to do now is take it to the next level because we're going to not just have white out text so that's easy anybody can do white out text what we're going to do is metallic text so i'm going to go to my swatches and i'm going to create a new color swatch and i'll go to the color logic library and i'm going to add a gold and I'm going to click on yes to say yes, I'm happy importing that color. So now we've got a new color logic color in here. So let's now color that up gold. Now at the moment it looks a little bit flat against that metallic background. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put a stroke around the outside. So now you can see we've got that white out stroke. And the same thing on the back, but this time the back color, I'm going to change it to something else. I'm going to have a complementary color to the front. So again, go to the color logic system. Let's go down to about yeah that will do number 90 and click on done so now we've got number 19 there it's going to be white on the outside number 90 in the middle so now i've got that frame so now what's going to happen is we're going to have metallic gold text that's variable with a white stroke around it against a metallic background with a dimensional effect knocked out pattern and just to show you what happens here is all that will change as you can see now let's have a look at our separation preview. So separation preview was going to show us what that color logic silver separation or the white separation is. Now remember the white here is going to be the white ink. So watch what happens here. That black, that solid area is going to be the solid silver substrate coming through. So as we change in that, that variable field changes automatically. So every single one of those, if you were to do this without the color logic system, you would have to create every single one of these with an individual white ink mask. Now, how would you go about putting the white ink mask into this image? And what happens is most of the time with white ink, they put a solid behind the back because it's just too complex. You can't see white ink on your computer screen. You have to tint it like a blue or a red. You end up working backwards, blocking out the colors that you don't want to be metallic rather than what we do is we make the colors that you do want metallic into a metallic. It's really simple. Okay, let's just finish off by adding in a silver embellishment down the spine, and I think we're good to go. So we've seen our file, it's all done there, all created up nicely for us. Let's now export that out to a PDF. 
we're going to do all records in this instance and just click on OK. I'm going to do PDF X4, just a normal PDF file. Save that to my desktop. And it's going to go through and generate the file. Now, the great thing about this is that it's actually really very quick. As you can see here, it is basically done. It says there's no over text. So basically saying that there's no text that's burst out of the frames, which is a good thing, which means that all our documents work correctly. So now let's go down to our desktop. We have that PDF file we just created. We can open that up and inside Adobe Acrobat, we will then have 50 PDF files, which are ready to um, display, um, uh, send over to the RIP. Now, let me just move it over from my other computer so you can see this. Let's go to Organize Pages so you can see them all. So as you can see, each one of those files there, I mean, how quick was that? Really, really fast and effective. Now, great thing about this as well, what's the file size? Okay, so it's just over 30 megabytes. So that is a super quick way to be able to create variable data in metallic using the ColorLogic system and Adobe InDesign. No other third party programs are required for doing the variable data fields. It's a really great solution to be able to put that little wow factor. And don't forget, if you want to see how this was created, head over to the ColorLogic Smart Center for our licensed printers, sign in, look at the video tutorials on how we created all these amazing files. Thank you